There are 10 things you should always buy from Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna tell you why. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon from the dailydiywire.com, and I'm excited to share with you the 10 things that I always buy from Dollar Tree, and you should too. I also want to thank Mist Play for sponsoring today's video. The first item, I don't think it's going to surprise anyone because y'all know I'm obsessed with mason jars and I'm obsessed with the ones from Dollar Tree. A couple different reasons. Number one, nice smooth finish. Now one side does have the raised surface with the measurements on it, but for the most part, the other three sides have a nice smooth surface. The other thing I love about Dollar Tree right now is you can not only get the pint size, but also the bigger quart size, which means even more functionality. Now, I love these so much that I actually have a video that shows 50 different ways to use mason jars, and I will make sure to link that down in the description box below if you really wanna do a deep dive into mason jar hacks, but I wanted to share with you just a few of the things they are awesome for. So first up, they are great for not only organization, but also for storage. So of course, I think the number one thing we think of with mason jars is adding your food to them. Absolutely love that. Do that myself with some of my baking supplies, but they're also great for storing office supplies and even your craft supplies. As I already mentioned, they are fun to craft with, especially those smooth surfaced ones that don't have the raised edges. I love this really fun DIY that I recently did with Sharpie markers. This is a fun one to do with kids. Great for any age, really. I also loved this Mod Podge craft that I did. Easy to add some food coloring to some Mod Podge, paint it on, you get a really pretty finish in the end. Another idea is to use these as luminaries. You can put candles in these. Definitely suggest LED powered battery candles for these. Um, or you can use these for lanterns. You can put fairy lights in these. So lots of great options to use these as a lighting source. I'm sure you've heard of gifts in a jar too. There are tons and tons and tons of ideas of using jars as gifts for gifting food, toys, beauty items, tools, craft supplies. So a really fun way to give a gift versus just using a traditional gift bag. You have to let me know down in the comments below what you use mason jars for. But before we jump into the next item that I absolutely love at Dollar Tree, I wanna tell you about another love of mine, Mist Play. In a nutshell, Mist Play is a loyalty app for us gamers. Whether you're looking for a little help covering your craft supplies, daily coffee, or Amazon purchases with Mist Play, you can earn rewards simply by discovering and playing mobile games. Mist Play is a great way to find new favorite games. With a huge catalog of games including puzzle, word, casual, card, strategy, adventure, and more, you're sure to find one you'll enjoy. And the more you play, the more you earn. Redeem your points for gift cards from your favorite stores like Walmart, Amazon, Visa, and more. Over $100 million in gift cards have already been redeemed. My favorite games to play are Solitaire and Get Color. Both are a lot of fun and a nice way for me to relax. I've been racking up my points while playing and will definitely be redeeming those points for Amazon gift cards soon. Visit mistplay.com slash daily DIY or click the link in the description box to download Mist Play for free. You'll get 200 bonus points for signing up today. Plus, use my code DAILYDIY50 inside the app for an additional 50 free points, which will help towards redeeming your first gift card. See the description for all the details. So planters is the next item that I absolutely always buy from Dollar Tree. And that should be no surprise to anybody either as I do lots of different crafting with the planters. And I actually have several different videos that I'll link down below. So again, if you wanna do another deep dive into the different projects you can make with planters, check down there. And I just kinda wanna give you a quick overview of some of the things that I've done that are my favorite things to use with the Dollar Tree planters. So if you can find the bigger planters, a lot of times they are actually in the Dollar Tree Plus section, $3, $5, still extremely affordable versus going to a department store or hardware store for them. They are perfect for kind of gussying up, doing a little spray painting too, to really make them look more like metal versus plastic, and then using them for, their, for the really popular tall trees that you see in a lot of home decor right now. Last year, I actually made a fountain out of one of the larger planters and some pool noodles. That was definitely one of y'all's favorite. 
You can also use the fun little multi-vessel planters that stack for organization. Great for crafting supplies, office supplies, great for a crafting night or a kid's party. And of course, great for decor. So many different things you can do to decorate with these. Obviously put a plant in them, but you can use them in your home decor too. And then I also am just giving you a fair warning right now that I do have another DIY planter video coming up. So if you're not yet, please subscribe, hit the bell notification so you get notified when that video goes live so you can see some new ideas using Dollar Tree planters. Now let's talk about rope. So of course rope is practical. One of those items you probably just keep around the house. You never know when you're gonna need it, but it's also great for decorating with too. So I've made some really cute things, including some useful coasters, a really, really cute beehive, which also features one of those Dollar Tree planters. And it's a fun way to turn everyday items into seasonal items like these pumpkins that I made. They were just styrofoam pumpkins, wrapped them in rope, made them a little bit more decorative. And then I took one of these metal buckets from Dollar Tree, wrapped it in rope, made some ears for it, and made a cute seasonal Easter bunny bucket for the spring season. I also love to use rope to make my own garlands. So it's really, really easy to just tie on some jingle bells for Christmas time, quick, easy, very affordable project. Another garland idea is to just clip some leaves onto some rope to make a simple garland for fall. And since we are now talking about clothespins, that'll segue into my next favorite item from Dollar Tree clothespins. All right, so let's talk about those clothespins. Again, this is another video that I focused making projects all using clothespins in that I'll link down below for you. But this one, I want to show you just a few of my favorites. The first one is this really simple and cute candle holder for fall. You can also use clothespins to hot glue some little dowel rods onto the back of, and then they become a really cute little photo holders that you can put in with some greenery or some flowers really makes a beautiful home decor piece or perfect for parties and centerpieces you can also add push pins to the backs of clothes pins and put them into some cork boards a fun way to add some clothes pins that are removable and also your photos your notes your to do's are all removable too Next up are cutting boards and Dollar Tree has a very large selection of cutting boards, including these flexible mats. And did you know you can cut them with your Cricut machine? You sure can. You can put these on a mat. Just make sure you have the right settings, which I will throw on the screen for you if you want to give it a try. But these are just a few of the things that I've created with those flexible cutting mats, including gift tags, some uh, keychains, and also some holiday ornaments. I think we all love the wood bamboo cutting boards that Dollar Tree has. Lots of different kind of wood signs you can make with those and even cute little miniature trays. They also have glass cutting boards and they come in a couple different shapes. I'm pretty sure they have square and circle and you can actually etch with glass on those. And if you've never tried it before, it's fun to do. You just put a stencil onto the glass, put some etching paste on there. It sits for like five minutes. You wash it off, rinse it off, take the stencil off and you're left with your design etched in the glass, which is awesome because it's permanent. So it's still functional. You can also find plastic uh, cutting boards at Dollar Tree. I was able to find them in different colors at one point, but usually they do have white. And at one point I even put the old back of a picture stand on the back of one, decorated up the front and then made a cute little display for my kitchen with it. Wreaths, you cannot go wrong with getting wreaths at Dollar Tree. They have the foam ones, they have the metal ones, they have the grapevine ones, they have even more than that too. And honestly, it's like the best price you're gonna find for wreaths is going to be a Dollar Tree. The other wreaths that I am so obsessed with that Dollar Tree carries are their beaded wreaths. I've used these to, of course, make wreaths, even ones for Valentine's Day, and use them as decorative elements on this cute tray that I put a candle on. And you don't necessarily have to use these wreaths as wreaths. You can get creative with them, just like I did with this grapevine wreath. So for this one, I sat that one down, put a plate on top, and put some greenery inside of it, and made a really cute centerpiece, or be cute on a shelf, or an entryway table. 
Very, very cute little display for spring. Now let's talk about their canvases. Boy, do they have a variety. Some are rectangle. They even have shapes now in the Dollar Tree Plus section, including hearts and circles, which I have made a cute Christmas wreath out of the circle. Um, but there are other ways to use these canvases from Dollar Tree too. So in the past, I have made cute placemats. You can even remove the canvas from the framed canvases and just use the wood frame that's underneath it. I've used that to make a big window display and even a lantern. You can also, when you take the canvas off of the frame, keep it and save it and use it for other projects. I cut this one out and made some little hearts for a Valentine's Day garland. And of course you can use them to make your own art. You can leave them on the canvas and use them to paint on, or you can take the canvas off and make some cute little miniature arts pieces like I did with these. Now this is a weird one. Why in the world would I put shower curtains in this video? Well, if you didn't see the video where I covered making several different items and using these as hacks, then I'm gonna fill you in right now. So recently I made the cutest Easter Bunny topiary and I used it to kind of protect my work surface as I was using moss and it made a huge mess. So just like a tablecloth, you can use shower curtains to protect your work surfaces. You can also cut shower curtains up and tape them all together or glue them all together around the sides, leave the top open and make an insert for your tote bags to make them waterproof. If you're gonna go on a picnic, it's a great item to keep for putting down in the grass to put your blanket on top of, keeps you nice and dry. Now you can even get clear shower curtains at Dollar Tree. So if you have a really pretty, say, fabric tablecloth, put that down and then put a clear tablecloth over the top of it and it'll keep your pretty nice fabric one nice and clean for you. And you can just wipe off the shower curtain to use over and over. You can also use those same clear shower curtains to put over paper so that you can make your own little dry erase station. This is cute for kids and kind of worksheet activities, or you could use it for your own to-do lists and shopping lists. So I hope that kind of changed your mind about the shower curtains. Maybe you'll look at these a little bit differently the next time you go into Dollar Tree. Now let's talk about pizza pans. Recently, I did create a Valentine's Day charcuterie with a pizza pan just using all Dollar Tree inexpensive finds. I also use pizza pans to catch messes whenever I'm working with things like glitter and moss. Instead of the expensive wood rounds, I've also used uh, pizza pans in place of that to make some cute door hangers, like this one for Valentine's Day, and also a really pretty one for winter. You can also put little feet on the bottoms of the pizza pans to make a tray, or in my case, I just added some wood beads to mine, which gave it a little bit of height and made it look a little bit more fancy. And now you all know I love Christmas. If you didn't know, I have a second channel called The Cozy Christmas Cottage, which runs from July. We do Christmas in July all the way through December and after Christmas time. So it's on break right now, but if you love Christmas too, now's a great time to go over, subscribe to that channel, hit the bell, and you'll know whenever Christmas in July rolls around, which I'll link that down below for you too. But I couldn't leave out one of the absolute favorite things that Dollar Tree carries that I always, always get are their ornaments. I love that you can take something so simple and basic and give it such a personalized look, including these that I gave a really classy look using some gold leafing. If you've never tried hydro dipping before, that's a fun one to try. You can add glitter to the clear ornaments. You can add alcohol ink to clear ornaments, and you can even put things that are that you can fit down into the hole into the ornaments to make a cute little scene add some personalized things. You can put food in them and things like that and give them as gifts. So those are my absolute favorite 10 items that I always get from Dollar Tree. Let me know down in the comments below which item do you always get from Dollar Tree? Was it one of the items that I featured here? Or is it one that maybe I should also be getting from Dollar Tree that I just don't know about? So leave those down in the comments below. I've also created a playlist that will have all of the videos that I hacked all of these items in. So if you wanna just go down the list and watch them, I have them all conveniently in one place. You can click one link and it will take you through them all. So I'll have that popping up on your screen right now. If you wanna click that, go ahead and I will see you over there. Thank 
Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.